Yeah, guys, what's up, your boy Genovic out here on the ice again, Fanatic Fishing. We're back, guys, at that, you know, remember I was by the docks last time, it was really bad. I was trying, like, drop shot, you know, versus ice jigs for, you know, perch. Anyway, now I'm out, gonna do pike, and there's also Xander here, so if we're lucky, we might get one. I have my spread, you know, these, uh, you remember from other videos, my tip-ups, I have 10 of them. You know, with the live roach on, I think two, three roach are dead. And then the spread is beginning, you know, from here. I got this, you see here, this reed. Uh, here and then uh, from these reeds i'm going all the way out here so we're fishing like between around two three meters by the reeds out to about four or five meters by uh, deeper out in the lake the sun is rising now it's a beautiful day you know enjoying so anyway hopefully you know my guys we get some you know hookups i have some fish to show you not like last time <laughs> and like always you know these tip-ups guy i'll show you later in the video you know how you rig them and stuff how it looks you can buy them in the links, you know. I got this affiliate links below. So, you know, go in there, click that. Help your brother out. <laughs> anyway, guys, enough babbling. And, yeah, hopefully I come back with some fish. Yeah, guys, hey, the first fish is on. I saw it spinning now. It's close to reeds here. It stopped now. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to mount you guys on the chesty. All right, let's see. Got just down there. Nah, man, he's gone. Yep. There's the roach. Uh, yeah, as you can he's see, he's got some bite marks. So a small pike has probably attacked him, but didn't get hooked. Anyway, let's let this guy go again. And then we reel this one up, guys, until I feel the resistance. About half a meter per meter off the bottom. Load the uh, this one Yeah, guys, so I uh, smacked down my sonar It's six and a half meters around here. So we are fishing quite deep actually I think it's between six to eight meters out there and behind me is more like four meters Perhaps you can see all those green lines up here. That's bait fish uh, So I mean there's some action in the area. That's good since that uh, Tip off went off. It's been quiet, but usually between 9 to 11 guys where I fish, there's action, so it's almost nine o'clock. So, hopefully, you know, once it's nine, action will kick off. Fish, guys, it went off quite hard. I'm taking it quiet now. I mean, it just smacked it really strong. The flag, let's see what's going on. Something, something went for it, otherwise, this does not happen. It was a really delicious take. Let's see what's up. And you wait, pause, you know, see if you feel any thing tugging on the line. But I saw it go off, you know, it was really strong. Something swiped at it. Might be a small pike again. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here, guys. I don't know what the... I think I lost my roach, though. I think so, yes. He took the roach. Swiped at it. Ah, no fish and he took the roach. Now comes a dilemma, guys, because, I mean, it, it just hit it really hard. I saw, you know, the flag, and even the pad skidded, and then it went off. So, I mean, it, it snatched the roach, and now here comes the dilemma. Should I, like, take one of the roaches, you know, from the deep out here and put it here? Because, I mean, I have one hit on this guy here and then one on that there, so it's close to the reeds. I'm suspecting smaller pike, you know, they're just lashing at it, you know, and taking it and not taking the hook in their mouth. And then the question is, do we want to try for those small pike and put another roach on this one? Or do we just, you know, keep the stuff on the deep? I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do, you know. But he, this is the second time. He just, pop, hits it fast. And he, you know, took my roach. Anyway, I'm going to have to think it through, you know, if I'm going to move a roach back here from out here, you know, in the deep side. But the question is, is there a point? It might even be perch actually just hitting it, you know, bigger perch and not getting the hook in their mouth. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Guys, yeah, went off again. I was just popping holes by the reed point here there but anyway this one that went off in the morning has gone off now so let's see what's up if it's just another swipe from a small jack pike or we, if we actually got something on yeah man it's after nine o'clock sun is up all the action is happening now reel is not spinning 
Let's see what's up, holy cow. There's a big mess here. Got a lot of thin slime. Yeah, 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 man, this is all tangled up. Yeah, we got fish on there, guys. I feel weight, but we have to like, yeah, yeah, there's something going on down, down there. Yep. Let's get the fish out. Oh, something better, guys. Something really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All tangled up. Oh, come on, come on. It's a big pike, I think. It's a big pike. We've got to be careful so we don't snap it. <gasps> Holy macaron. This is going to be good, guys. Uh, watch out for the ice edges. Ooh, watch out for ice. This is something better, man. This is feeling heavy. Let me just see you. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's taking line. Got to be careful not to break him off. Oh, hop, 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 hop. Get him back. The tangle we have to deal with later. Holy cow, man, this is a better one, guys. Same hole as in the morning. Oh, I hope I can show it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's taking line again. Oh, and there's such a big tangle also at the same time. Whatever, we'll fix that. Oh, yeah, he's running. He's really good, man. I'm assuming a big pike. He's taking line again. Come on, man. Let me show you to my fanatics. Oh man, I'm so excited guys, my legs are like jello. Hold on, I'll turn here so the sun might give you better light. Come up dude, come up, hop, 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 he's taking line again. I can't do anything man, he's just taking line. There's like, oh yo 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 yo. It's a really good pike guys, really good. Holy cow, holy cow. This is a beast boys. If I get this one up, oh my god, probably my biggest pike on the ice ever. Oh. Feels really good, my legs are all jello. Oh, sorry if I'm breathing heavily, I'm so excited. Really nice fish. Come on, dude, let me just show you to my... Gotta be careful, guys. Small, you know, six size treble hook. Let's see. Oh, pop up, it's better pike. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. Oh, yeah, 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 he's good. It's a better pike, guys. It's better pike. Oh, I have no gloves and stuff with me. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna have to... You know, grab him as fast as he comes through the hole. Trying to get him out. He's taking line again. It's a better pike. Seems to be in the 4 5 kg range. And he's, you know, putting up a really good fight. You gotta watch the ice, it just burrows. So you don't, you don't cut your line off. I was just, you know, popping holes by the other reed edge. Thinking, you know, I'll give that a shot, but... Oh, here's coming now, he's coming now. He's big, he's big, he's really big. Holy cow, man, that's a good pike. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, pop, pop, let him go, he's taking line. He's getting more tired now, those rushers are less... Again... Are less, you know, vicious, less powerful. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, look at that head, man. I don't know if you can see him, I can only see his eye. Scheiße, how am I gonna get this guy? He's really good, you know. If you could just turn his head up. Uh, he's really big. I mean, look at that. Huge pike head, guys. Huge pike head. Jesus Christ, how am I gonna get you off my dude? Try his body now. It's a good pike. Um, problem I do is perhaps I'm gonna have to pop another hole besides this one. He seems to have taken the roach and is really good hooked. We're gonna have to risk it, boys and girls. Ay, 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 and the tangle is real here. It's really all messed up, you know. Looks like a ay, really bad tangle. So we're gonna have to go and get our drill and yeah, punch another hole. We're gonna have to risk it. We have no option. Let's go, my boys. Let's go. And at the same time, get the glove so I can, you know, hand land him. Up. <sighs> We're gonna have to punch another hole and not cut off our own line, of course. I don't know where it is anymore. It's there, okay. And then I'm gonna, you know, kick the ice in between. Where's the line? Get the line off. I don't even find the line anymore. Anyway, okay. Get up. Oh, get out of here. Oh, 
Where's the line? Oh yeah, he's trying to. Ah, it's all tangled up. Shit, man! What a shit show, guys! What a gang show! This thing's all jazzed up. Oh yeah, I cannot do anything, guys. And he's off. No, he's he's still there. Hold on, let me get that. Damn, let's put my foot there. Crack this hole. Anyway, we're gonna have to try to get them out. Oh, dig another hole, probably. Where's the line? The line is there. Oh, oh. Don't worry, my fanatics. We're gonna get this guy out. We're gonna have to do this this way. Get them up now. It's enough of this. I mean, we're gonna cut the line or something soon. I'm gonna have to get them up like this. If I could just get the head, you know, in the hole. This would all be, yeah, but he's so strong. He's pulling line. I tried to kick that, you know, ice bridge there, but I couldn't. He's by the hole. Hey, here, here. I have the lead weight. Come, come. I don't want to snap you. Come on, dude. He's stuck in the hole again. Come on, man. What a mess, guys, what a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, man. Now you know why you need a big hole. I wasn't expecting to get such a pike. Oh. No. Come on. Get your head in there, man. If we get the spoon, I can actually... Hold on, I need to get that spoon. Okay, anyway, let's use this one. I'm just gonna have to push him, you know, correct it. And then I can get him up, just get his head in the hole. He's hooked really good. Come on, Jiha, come on. Okay, come on, bro. Just let me help you out of this. Damn hole! Where are you? Let's get the ice out so I can see what's up. No. Okay, his head is out. Come on, don't fight the hay! Get up, get up, get up! Stop, 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 stop! Get the line! Get the gun! Because he's so slippery! Oh. Get him up! Okay, his beak is there. So I can just grab him because he's so slippery. Oh, look at that, boys! Holy f that touch. Hold on, let me get. I mean, look at that beast, boys! Holy crap! Check that pike out, man! Holy macaroni, he was really good hooked. Anyway, let's just get a measuring tape on him. Jesus Christ, man, let's shit. Oh Christ! No, the flag is going off. Perfect. Let's get pliers. Oh, yeah. oh my God! This might be, might be, guys, a meter pike. Holy crap! It's so big, huh? <laughs> Hold on, let's get the measuring tape. I mean, look at that! Look at that, boys! Such a fat so, such a fat so. Let's check him out. Let's see how long you are. Here, here, end of tail. He is, what's up, 90, hold on guys, I'm not gonna lie for you, there's the one meter mark, he's 98 and a half centimeters, man. 98 and a half, look at that, wait man, he's a fat so, hold on, let's now unhook him, oh yeah, yeah guys, oh yeah, let's get the proper gill grip, I mean look at that jaw, look at that jaw, and look at that roach down there man, it's, you know, he just engulfed that. Hold on, hold on, my dude, hold on. Let me just get you just one treble sitting in. Let's get this through here. Oppa. Let's just... Up, 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 up. You see, this way it's good to have the glove. He's busting about, he's not happy. Hold on, my friend. I'm gonna help you out.
Okay, hooks out. Oh my shit, got stuck there. Ah, hold up, got stuck on the way up, no problem. It's just in the lip, just in the lip. Come on, Jan, calm down. Okay, it's free. Look at that beauty, guys. Holy macaroni, 98 and a half centimeters. Look, I'm gonna, let me put in the sun. Look at that beast, man, look at that beast. 98 and a half centimeters, let him go, he's tired now. I would say around the five kg mark. Oh, let's get a beautiful release. And as always, guys, when you release, you know, put the head down and wait. Don't just, you know, throw them in. That's why this glove is good, you know, I'm not slipping. Give it a couple of... Oh, let her regain her strength. Holy cow, man, holy, I'm gonna piss in my pants, man. What kind of pike is this? Almost a meter. You see, she's like filling up her... It was a tiring fight, you know. Hole was too small, I tried to dig another one. But there was this bridge and I was hoping I could just kick through, but I couldn't. Oh, man, what a pike. 98 and a half centimeters and at least 5 kg, if not more. I tried to weigh it, but I didn't bring my bag and I don't want to hurt it, you know, put that hook in. So we just let her go. She's moving her fin. It's also it's important, guys, when there's like icy condition, there's wind, you got to protect her eyes. Now she's in the hole, in the water. So it's all good. Let's pull her up one more time. See if that gets her a bit more. The gills are moving, you know. Come on. Gills are moving. Ah, here's this huge ass mess I'm gonna have to fix later. Come on, girl. Get your beauty bag. Look how fat she is. Come on, my friend. Yeah, there she went off, guys. There she went off into the depths. We can check out the solar. But yes, man. Yes, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Holy macaroni, man. Holy macaroni. I mean, guys, 98 and a half centimeter, 5 kg, if not even more. I, I let her go now. She was kind of whipping about. I lost my grip, but then I saw under the hole she like kicked off. So she's fine now. I mean, this, this was the hole. Hold on, let me show you. Here, here, I tried to drip, drip, but you know, the, the double hole by the reeds. This one has not been going off, so I'll take the roach from there and put it here because we have two hits from here and this huge pike now. And then this one has gone off, so I won't touch that one. The deeper ones, nothing is happening. That's why I'm, you know, contemplating taking three of the mid range and putting them by the reeds over there. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, by here, by that point, where my finger is now. But man, man, look, I mean, that pike, of course, it just up the whole setup, you know, it's all tangled up. I'm going to have to untangle it. But dude, man, such, oh, you told me I'm my heart. I couldn't get her head out the hole, yo. <laughs> Fanatics, bro. 98 and a half, man. Almost, I could see that 100, you know, red mark. And I, ah, jeez, Louise, man. Guys, this one went off here in the new spot, you know, by the reed point. Put this here. Did it snatch the roach? If there's any bite marks around Mr. Roach. Let's see here. Oh, he looks quite okay, I don't know. Might have been wind guys, false alarm, but anyway, let's let this guy go again. Yeah, my fanatics, I, you know, I put out my, uh, I had like a false uh, going off there by the reeds. You can see I have three of my tip ups there. Of course, the delivering hole has been rigged again. And also the one beside there was, you know, a fish uh, hitting that. The deep ones out here uh, that I'm like more hoping for Xander are quiet. It's around 10.30 uh, now. I'm going to be here until noon, you know, 12. Best biting period is usually between 9 to 11. And correctly all these like after nine i had the first bite and the second and then that big nice pike came guys man Mwah, with that pike so anyway now you know we're gonna wait here until noon hopefully you know another tip off goes off and what's gonna be the next project is you know this lake is i mean it has some potential dude that's what i want to find out so over there next time we'll you know rig up by that point and then we're gonna you know pound pound you know point hop, hop along the reeds till we get close to the bridge you know that's my like idea you know and uh, yeah so anyway, let's see what's gonna happen. 
wake up guys we got another oppa hold on it went off the far one by the reeds let me bring our scale just in case so here over here again that one that you know went off because of the uh, wind but there's no wind now so hopefully that's a fish not a false alarm See what's up. up. Yeah, I think it took the roach. Yep, so we got another rascal over here. There's not gonna be a roach. On. Yep, it's empty, it took the roach. So what's gonna happen now, guys, is that I have two more here. What I'll do actually is just take, uh, I'll leave these two here in case that fish is swimming about eating but I'll go bring a roach you know from the deep ones you really fart then nu är han på vänster han har inte gått av idag så vi ska titta man ser om rullen rullar då vet man att det är någon jäkel på gång är det större still då är det mörkt tjuven i farten och nu ska vi så här har han Ja, mörkt den i bord. Eller nej. Ja, det är fisk på. Ja, 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 ja det är fisk här. <laughs> det är gärna fisk. Här kommer han. Ja. <laughs> får köra. Det blir skridskåkarnas ja. high five. Ja, jag tror han hade varit tjuva mörkt den. Ja, 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 det är lilla krabban. Kolla, han spottar ut kroken också, ser du? Här har det så här ser ut då. Jag kan visa också. Jag har en liten frysplugg, nu var det inte så kallt ja, idag. Ja, ja, och så en liten 10 grams bly ja. med en liten tafs med en liten, du ser det ja, större. Nej, nej men det där är perfekt. Så kom så får vi den där mörtjuven. Kom så det ska vi ta en liten bild med också. Oj, oj. Ta en liten fin, oj. Ska ja. så vi kan hålla den här lite så. Ja, <laughs> glad fiskar som har kämpat. <laughs> ja, man kan se vad de har med lusarna va, ska se om de har dem på. Ja, de brukar ju vara här uppe. Och... Ja, de är uppe. Ja, men det är var lite mer fart på det här, ja, fin, ja. Kom, ska vi släppa den lilla kompis? Ja, ja precis, de här små. Nej, men han var ren och fin den här. Nej, den där är... Ja, får ha det förbi en lilla kompis. Ja. Hej då. Ja, men... Ja, men precis när vi... Yeah, my fanatics, you saw... Oh, sorry. I'll hold the camera just a bit away like this. Yeah, you saw I got that small jack pike now. It came over there by, you know, the other reed point. I had been putting my stuff on. I was talking to these ice skaters. You know, nice guys, you saw them, you know, we came and talked. So I mean, yeah, guys. Now we have two fish, three roach are gone. You know, we had. So I think we've had like eight or seven, you know, tip ups going off with two fish and three roach gone that were definitely fish. You know, one or two of those pop ups, you know, my tip ups going off might have just been, you know, uh, wind. But anyway, my fanatics, I'm staying out, you know, for a couple more minutes and hopefully, you know, one more flag goes off. Yeah, my fanatics, I'm gonna wrap it up now. It's 12 o'clock. I mean, it's been a wonderful day. You see the sun there in the background. Uh, I had yeah, that small jack pike as you saw and uh, also I had like three roach stealers that were definite fish so the tip up went off seven times two times I caught fish that big pike that you saw almost a meter and then the small jack and then three of times roach were gone two of the times the roach were not like really bitten so I would say there's like false more like wind you know me not uh, rigging the flag properly but what worked today you guys was here we have it you know it's the reeds following the reed line about two, three meters away from it, up to five. Uh, so I'm gonna do next time, you know, here I'm gonna, next time I'm gonna start by the reeds over there and then just follow that line, you know, two to three, maximum five meters away from it and just put all 10 of my tip ups there. This deep stuff didn't give anything, so I'm not gonna do that again. I was hoping for, you know, Xander, but that's hard like always. Anyways, I talked to this guy, you know, he said they caught like big perch over there, beyond there, beyond the bridge, uh, that big, you know, bridge we have over there. So uh, I'm gonna you know, try gradually working my way, you know, towards this reed line, towards, you know, I don't know if you can see the bridge, but it's over there. And anyway, my friends, like always, you know, don't forget to subscribe, like, you know, any comments, questions, hit them below. And also, like I said, I'm into affiliate marketing, so all the stuff you see in the videos, they're down in their links. Click them and buy them and help a brother out. Anyway, my fanatics, take care and hope to see you soon on another fanatic fishing video. Bye.